Yo, what's going on guys? So, I'm pretty much making this video because I've been seeing a lot on YouTube of everyone talking about what their favorite game or what Dragon Ball game was their favorite. And I thought, shit, why don't I make a video talking about my favorite Dragon Ball game? But, not really talking about ranking them, I just want to talk about the possibility of what, if we could get probably a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I mean, again, I pray that they get this game out because, again... A, a Budokai Tenkaichi 4 would be pretty sick, and add online support to that, it'll be even better. It, it doesn't have to be how Xenoverse 3, or Xenoverse 2 is, how you have to make a custom character and do all that stuff. I wouldn't really care about that. I would like it where it could be just you get to use all original characters. It'll be a ton of characters, because again, if you guys don't know, the best thing about Budokai Tenkaichi games was they had a whole roster of characters. Something that I wish Xenoverse 3 will have, I hope, which I am saying, I hope that Xenoverse 3 will have a shit ton of characters. Because again, we know they need them. Because yeah, I do like when they add a lot of characters. It's a, it's a lot of variety of the game then, when you have a lot of characters. That's what Budokai Tenkaichi, that's what the Budokai Tenkaichi games had. And what I loved about them was the fact that they had a total of 140 to 150 character. Or I think or I think the limit was Budokai Tenkaichi 3 had the most because they had 140 plus characters. Or could it be more? Let me know in the comments below how much it was, but I believe it was 140 plus characters. And, like I said, man, over time, the games evolved and did even more better. The one thing the one thing that these games had and that I loved the most was the soundtrack was so on point. You could tell they really did their best to the soundtrack. I think Budokai Tenkaichi 2 has, a be has the best soundtrack, and Budokai Tenkaichi 3 has a good one. But, if, if anything, if you compare uh, them both, I'm going to say Budokai Tenkaichi 2 is my favorite. It's my favorite to have the most, uh, you know, likable soundtrack to me. I have so many memories playing on that, man, honestly. If I still, if I can find my PS2 memory card, I will literally show on a day my whole save and all my characters of, and there's a dog barking in the background. Well, fuck that dog. All right, but either way, I would hope that, I just hope that they make a Budokai Tenkaichi 4, man. I, I've been wanting this for so many years. The fact that we didn't even get a remaster on PS3 years ago, like, can you believe that it's been a close to, it's about 10 years now, 10 years since those games dropped or it could be more but when I played them was 10 years ago like what the fuck we didn't even get after burst limit you know what I thought in myself that we were gonna get a tank age game we did but it wasn't the game we wanted like guys again I'm gonna be honest with you ultimate tank Aichi, that is not <laughs> that is not the game that we I'm fucking that is not the game you need honestly Man, there, there is, uh, guys, I do apologize for the background noise right now. I do apologize for that. Over time, it is going to be getting, hold on one second. All right, guys, we are back. My bad for all the background noise. I had to close my window quickly because somebody's dog was barking outside. But back to what we were talking about. Now, guys, we got an Ultimate Tenkaichi game on PS3. But again, that wasn't what we wanted. After that, the Dragon Ball games weren't really the same. I don't think, I think a lot of people themselves, we, a lot of people were kind of just going off the of Dragon Ball games because, again, I think Bur Burst Limit was not a bad game. I actually enjoyed it, but in my mind, I was hoping. I was at least praying that we were going to get a Budokai Tenkaichi 4, and that was close to 10 years ago when I thought we were going to get a Budokai Tenkaichi 4 game, or at least a remaster, because again, the remastered Budokai 3, and I believe it was Budokai 1, didn't get a Budokai Tenkaichi 3 remastered, even though that was the most assed game, but whatever, it's all good. And then we saw Raging Blast 1, and then we saw Raging Blast 2. It just, again, guys, those just weren't the games we were looking for. In my opinion, I didn't really think those games are all this and that. I still, I had the games, but did I enjoy them? Eh, I, like, I didn't enjoy them that much. I wish, I wish there was, like, uh, like I, I really was telling myself, I told this to all my friends, like, imagine if they made Budokai Tenkaichi 4. That was my main thing I talked about in middle school with my friends. Yes, back then I was in middle school. At the time when, uh, you know, Burst Limit came out and the PSG was out and all that. And again, I, I wished, but again, we did not get that. So, at that point, I just told myself, like, you know what, it's whatever. Right when the PS4 came out, I knew that we were going to get a Dragon Ball game. In my mind, I'm like, oh, there has to be a Dragon Ball game coming out. Because I know Bandai, after they made Battle of Z, and like, again, Battle of Z, that, that was not a good game either. That was a trash game. Like, I, I think it tried to do the one, I think there was, there was a game in Japan. And uh, I think Battle Z tried to reenact what that was, but they it it didn't work out. I I got the game for Vita. I didn't buy it for PS3. Um, 
I, I did get it for a PS3, or uh, like I think like a few months after its release. But either way, I didn't play it a lot. Like I said, guys, Dragon Ball games for me at that point really, really, really my favorite thing. Um, if anything, the only Dragon Ball game I played was Budokai Tenkaichi 3 because see, I had the backwards compatible PS3, so it made it a lot more easier for me. But yeah, that was that. But then right when the PS4 came out, all out of nowhere announcement came out saying that there was going to be another Dragon Ball game. It was called Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. A lot of people had a lot of skepticism about how it was going to be, how the combo was going to be, and how the fighting was. Me, myself as well. But when I first played that beta, I kind of told myself, you know, this is going to be alright, it's not that bad. Then when the game dropped, it was sick. I loved it. It was better than Battle of Z. There were some things in Battle of Z that, that were in there, like the little lock-on and all that, but still. Either way, I enjoyed the game. I loved Xenoverse 1. So did a lot of people. If you guys didn't know, that game was hard to get a physical copy of it because how how much it was selling and a lot of people were buying it. If you guys didn't have that for the summer of that year when it came out, you were missing out. Um, in my opinion, it was a good Dragon Ball game. Then over time, I think a year after, I would say, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 came out, which again, wasn't that much of a difference. It just it looked like it was a Xenoverse uh, 1, but with you know more characters, maybe a little bit more, I guess, a bit of a jump in graphics, but... You know, again, I don't know that much of a graph. I didn't really see that much of a jump. It, it looked like a... It pretty much, to me, it looked like a little 1.0. Or a 2.0 of the Xenoverse 1. But either way, I, nonetheless, I still enjoyed the Xenoverse 2. It's just, I would hope... I would say maybe after Xenoverse 3. We could probably get a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Now, guys, I'm actually going to be making a video talking about Budokai... Uh, or talking about Xenoverse 3. When it's going to come out. What I would love to see in it. Like my little wishlist video. So look out for that. I think that will come out after this video. But, in my opinion, we either need a Budokai Tenkaichi 4 game in the future, or we need a remaster of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Either one would be fine with me. Now, I know a lot of people say they would love a Budokai Tenkaichi, like, like the whole like the whole Tenkaichi series remastered. Now, guys, that would be sick, but in my opinion, I, I think asking for one would be better, and the best one, in my opinion, would be three. And imagine if they added online support to that. I think that would be a really, really dope idea. Because you can see a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people having fun with them. My, myself. And again, it, it, I think it would bring back a lot of the couch co-op stuff. Because again, I know a lot of people loved playing that two-player. That was my main favorite thing to do. I loved playing two-player my sister, my brother, everybody. You know, that game was my most played game on PS2. That and Budokai 3. But either way, right when, after I got off Budokai 3, I, like I said, I went into the Budokai, you know, Tenkaichi series and I just... <laughs> I kind of stuck with that for now, but um, I still, like I said, Budokai 3 will still be, you know, will still be a child of memory to me, will still be deep down in my heart, like I said, that's a that's an important game to me, um, but one thing I just do hope is Budokai Tenkaichi 4 to come out, now what I would love to see from Budokai Tenkaichi 4, I would love to see an online support, now do I want to be ability where we can customize our characters, maybe or maybe, uh, uh, for me, I really don't care if it is in that. I would rather have that in just saying Xenoverse 3. Because again, or just for the Xenoverse series. I think that's better if they put it in that one. Uh, if they just have all the character customization shit in that one. Because I really, really matter to me. I'd rather have it where we could play as any story character. We would have over 150 characters into the game. Because now that the tournament powers happened. You know, again, Xenoverse, uh, but Budokai Tenkaichi, I keep seeing Xenoverse, my bad guys. See, but this is what I mean. Budokai Tenkaichi has this much you know, potential in it, because how much is showed from Budokai Tenkaichi 3, it had 140 plus characters, probably more, imagine if they made a Budokai Tenkaichi 4, there could be probably, what is it, close to 200 characters or more than that, you know, you never know, like I said, and the fact that the Dragon Ball Super anime will be coming back, or the rumors are it's supposed to come back in July, there's more characters to be added in, so much more story to be, you know, told, and I really wouldn't mind if the original story is there, you know, I, I think Xenoverse 3 is better at, you know, making the I guess, uh, I guess making an, an original story or an uncanny story, because again, I do enjoy that about Xenoverse 2. I still would hope that they would give more, you know, just, just more, like, you know, contest, I think, because some of the events, they were no different from the other from Xenoverse 1. You kind of just saw the same things uh, from Xenoverse 1 implemented into Xenoverse 2, so I do wish that, and I do hope that Xenoverse 3 will have a lot, a lot more different things in it. Like I said, guys, I'm going to make a different video talking about that. But, you know, I just want to make this video talking about Xenoverse, or Budokai Tenkaichi, I keep saying it's Xenoverse. I'm only doing one take, but just talking about Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I just want people to see this video, and if you guys did enjoy this video, guys, please do hit that like button. Because if you do, somebody, 
hopefully somebody from Bandai or someone out there, you know, will see this video that's like, you know, known with that game. And we'll see, like, either bring about, you know, bring out our, oh, fucking God, either bring out a remaster, you know, <laughs> guys, I keep stumbling over my words, that's what I hate the most, but, you know, just talking about this really gets me hyped up, I, I just hope that we get a Budokai Tenkaichi 3 remaster, or just a Budokai Tenkaichi 4, and probably a remaster with it, you know, uh, seeing the way that the console generation is about to end right now, the PS4 cycle is almost about to end, I believe, you know, in my opinion, I, I think we'll see another Xenoverse 3 Maybe in 2020, that's my opinion. But I'm going to talk more about that in my next video. Uh, you know, going over that. But yeah. What do you guys want from Budokai Tenkaichi 4? Let me know down in the comments below. Because like I said, guys, I want to know what you guys want to see. Because again, what I want to see from Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is online support. More characters. Or not more, just online support in general. I would love to see them in Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I would love to see them to make a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. My bad, guys. I might cut out right there. But, yeah, guys. Just let me know down in the comments below if you want to see a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Or what do you want to see? Do you want to see a remaster of all the games? Budokai Tenkaichi 3 remaster? Or do you want to see a full-blown Budokai Tenkaichi 4 game itself? Just to end off the trilogy, in my opinion. I would love to see that. Either Bandai, you know, makes it and cooperates with Dimps and all the people that made, you know, the original games. That would be amazing. Or at least Sony would add Budokai Tenkaichi, uh, you know, 3 to their PS2 classics. That would be amazing, in my opinion. But whatever they do in the future is up to them. I, like I said, Xenoverse 3 is not going to be a bad... Like I said, guys, the Xenoverse games are not bad, in my opinion. They're not bad, but they have a lot of flaws. A lot of flaws that I wish they would fix. The cult, I would wish they would fix the two-player. That is one thing they need to fix. Second thing, they need to add more ma more stages. Third thing, they need <laughs> they need more characters in my opinion. They need more characters because guys, I'm not saying the characters are bad, but the fact that we had to pay for the characters that was kind of like a downside. But either way, I hope a Xenoverse Three will have all the characters we have right now in it and probably more. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for a Xenoverse Three talk. But like I said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Me talking about Budokai Tenkaichi Four, the possibility of it and when I would want it, or hopefully it could come out. Or just, just a prayer, just hoping it will come out. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this video. And make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and join the community, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.